my dear brother and sister fraternal greetings to you from the carmelite fathers at the infant jesus shrine mangalore welcome to carmel prayer and reflection on the word of god it's the thursday of the first week of advent reading from prophet isaiah chapter 26 verses 1 to 6 on that day this song will be sung in the land of judah we have a strong city he himself has set up walls and fortifications to protect us open the gates let the righteous nation enter she who is firm in faithfulness you keep in perfect peace the one of steadfast mind the one who trusts in you trust in yahweh forever for yahweh is an everlasting rock he brought down those who dwell on high he laid low the lofty city he raised it to the ground leveled it to the dust now it is trampled the poor and the lowly tread upon it the word of the lord thanks be to god brothers and sisters the reading invites us to place all our trust in the savior by enumerating what will happen on the day of his coming on that day this song will be sung in the land of juda here in this context on that day refers to the day of the messiah's ultimate triumph the day when the messiah will reign over israel and over the whole world on that day there will be a lot of joyful singing as the lord will be with them what else can one do than rejoicing at his presence let us remember the psalmist who said i lack nothing as the lord is my shepherd i lack nothing as the lord is my shepherd the expression we have a strong city is used because the kingdom that the messiah is going to establish is not of human origin it is of divine origin till the time of the prophet and even thereafter there have been so many empires which reached the zenith of glory and later were erased from this earth but this kingdom which will be raised by the messiah and he will reign forever and ever we are going verse by verse hope you get what i am saying open the gates so that the righteous nation that keeps faith may enter in the kingdom of god established by jesus will admit only those who are righteous and keep the truth in their heart the kingdom of god is open to all but we need to work for it we need to work for it this is what we are expected to do during this advent season the following verses are very encouraging the hearts which trust in the lord will have peace perfect peace 
perfect peace. My dear brother and sister, once again we are reminded to root our faith and trust in the one who has created us. This is the way we are expected to prepare for the Messiah during these days of Advent. Let us pray. Sovereign Lord, I put my hope in you. I have trusted in you since I was young. Amen. My dear friends, today being Thursday, a day dedicated to infant Jesus, let us pray the Novena prayer with trust and devotion. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O miraculous infant Jesus, look upon us as we turn to you, imploring your assistance in our needs and anxieties. Let your compassionate heart be moved to pity by our supplications and grant us the favor which we urgently implore you. Free us from all affliction and despair, all trials and misfortunes. Give us your support and consolation, good health and happiness, so that we may praise you and the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Silently, let's remember all our petitions. Petitions of our family members the plans and the projects that we have for our family and our business. Intentions and the well-being of all our near and dear ones. The petitions of all those who hear Carmel Prairin, those who support in our ministry. Those who have sent their request Pray, asking our prayers for the gift of child, for health of body and mind, for success in exams, for the gift of a child, for a good job, for security in job, peace and serenity in the family life, good relationship between the spouses, seeking a better life partner, wisdom and understanding in studies, health and prosperity of those who work abroad. And these days, my dear friends, there are many functions that are happening in our families, in our neighborhood. Maybe engagement, rose, wedding, jubilees. Let's Ask God to bless them all. There are many couples who are preparing for their matrimony, sacrament of matrimony. Let's pray for them. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. The will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O infant Jesus, bless us and hear our prayer. Thanksgiving prayer. 
O most generous infant Jesus. We on our knees before you have come to express our deep thankfulness to you for all the favors we have received at your hands. We believe, Jesus, that together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, you are our Creator and Savior. Henceforth, we place all our trust in you. Through this miraculous statue, may your devotion be spread throughout the world, and may all people pay homage to your holy childhood and gain thereby untold divine blessings and favors. All praise and honor be to the infant Jesus. Amen. Let's pray for God's blessing, my dear friends, once again. Remember all your intentions. And in a special way, I invoke God's blessings on all those who have sent their prayer request. May the Lord Jesus be with you to defend you. May he be with you to sustain you. May he go before you to show you the way. May he follow you to guard you. From above, may he bless you with the Father and the Holy Spirit, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. My dear friends, today at the Infant Jesus Shrine, we have nine Eucharistic celebrations beginning at 6 o'clock in the morning, then at 7.30, then at 9, then at 10.30, and then at 1 o'clock. All these Masses will be in Konkani. And in the evening at 4 o'clock in Malayalam, 5 o'clock in English, at 6 in Konkani, at 7 in Canada. And you have plenty of time and opportunity to make your confession at this shrine and also seek personal blessings. Once again, I remind you about the carol singing competition that I announced to you yesterday that will be held on Sunday. So kindly register your name at the earliest. And also there is going to be a star competition where you can prepare the star at home and bring in, uh, keep it at the shrine. There are so many people who will be visiting the shrine during Christmas and thereafter during the Novena and the annual feast. You have a golden opportunity to exhibit your talent of preparing star creatively and making it a unique. I will give you further details tomorrow. Be prepared. Be a star during this Christmas. And this is Father Stephen Pereira, Carmelite Priest. My number, the code 91 followed by 94 eight one two six three two two nine nine four eight one two six three two two nine see you tomorrow have a great day